two people have been pulled alive from the ruins of an apartment building two days after it collapsed in a powerful earthquake in Tainan City in Taiwan. The first was a woman who officials said was found lying underneath the body of her husband. Their two-year-old son was found dead nearby. Shortly later, a man was also rescued alive, local media reported. At least 38 people died in the magnitude 6.4 quake, most of whom were inside the Weiguan Jinlong building. More than 100 people are still thought to be trapped inside. The woman, Cao Weiling, was rescued on Monday morning, local MP Wang Tingyu was quoted as saying by Reuters news agency. She was conscious and was taken to hospital. Rescuers said it appeared her husband's body had protected her from a falling beam. Five of the couple's family members remain missing, Taiwan's government run central news agency reported. The rescued man had been talking to rescuers throughout the night. He was pulled free just before midday local time. Officials said late on Sunday that 310 people had been rescued from the rubble of the building, with 100 of them taken to hospital. A six-month-old baby girl pulled alive from the rubble died a few hours later in hospital. The 17 stories of the Weiguan Jinlong, Golden Dragon, apartment complex crumpled as the quake struck just before 4 o'clock local time on Saturday, 20 hundred hours GMT Friday, as Taiwan was beginning the Lunar New Year holiday an investigation has been launched into whether the construction of the building contributed to its collapse.